Good evening, people. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Merlin. Hello, Fernando. Chancy. Daniel is just getting into. Okay, good evening to everybody. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, class. Hello, hello. Berlis. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. We're going to start in a minute. Aidan, welcome, Aidan. Good evening. Okay, 11 people, 10 people got connected. And it is like two minutes after eight. So we're going to start. Well, how's everything, people? How are you tonight? How was your day? I'm fine. Pretty good. Ronan says he will be as a listener tonight. Okay, Ronan. Well, I hope you have had a great, a great day and that you are willing to work a lot in the class tonight. Today is, you know, is uh, Wednesday. And uh, actually we're missing lights. Let's see, two, fours, light six or seven sessions more in the in the course. The basic level of English course number three is gonna be done. So hopefully uh, you're gonna get the skills that we're looking for so that you can move on to the next level of English, okay? Important, that's important. Okay, so it's three minutes after eight and we're gonna start just right now. Let me see. Our checklist attendance, as I usually do it. Then we're gonna see a couple of exercises here. Just give me a second, please, cause I... Uh, give me one second, please, give me one second.
Okay, okay. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> My pet was over here just bothering a little bit. Uh, well, now we check list attendance as I told you. And here we go. Aiden? Belen? Daniel? Present teacher. Edgar? Gladys Rubidia? Jonathan? Present teacher. Jose Daniel? Juan Fernando? Present teacher. Good. Maria Elba? Mario Cristobal? Verenice. Present teacher. Okay. Merlin. Present teacher. Excellent. Michael. I'm here, teacher. You're there, I know. Uh, Noah. Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. Ronald. Present teacher. Norma is there. Thank you. Teresa. Vera Liz. Present. And Chancy. Chancy, Chancy. Okay, good. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna start. Yesterday we learned how to write a formal email, right? Yes. And you one of the homework. Okay, Ethan is in the chat and also Ronan. You uh, were in charge of uh, showing the image you created. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yeah, right. So you're gonna you're gonna do it. You're gonna uh, show what you created yesterday, or and 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 the info that you included tonight, so that we can see the way you have improved your writing. Okay. Now, let me see. We're going to go over it as soon as possible. All right, so the platform is over here. The topic we started yesterday was about steps to write a formal email. Okay, formal email. And over there, we had like certain a, a, a information okay like different steps and tips to be polite and besides that i i try to introduce the indirect questions right so which is something important i listen there's a parrot somewhere there <laughs> can you please close your microphone so I can see, I can listen to a parrot. I don't know who's the owner of a parrot. <laughs> okay, so well over here, you know, we're gonna check uh, where the steps presented below or to write an email, a formal or informal. This is very simple, right? In the number one, to include a polite salutation. Example, dear Mr., this, dear Miss or good morning, etc. Is that formal or informal? Formal. It is formal, right? When you use abbreviations, example like thinks, THX, that's formal or informal? Informal. Informal. That's not, that's not formal. When you edit or proofread before you send a message, you are practicing a tip for formal or informal email. Okay. Formal or informal? It's you, formal. It's formal? Yeah. Formal, right? Proofread. 
Then, when you add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, for example, business address, and phone number, you are creating a formal or an informal email. Formal. Formal. Formal email. When you use capital letters, is that formal or informal? Informal. informal. It is informal. Well, let's say informal. Here we go. We're going to check right. it. Tell, tell me, Michael. Nothing to show. Okay, now you it, see. It's right here. Okay. Uh -huh. Now you see, it means that we are very clear about what we started yesterday, right? No doubt about it, right? No doubts about it. And also the day before yesterday, we started about should. Well, we started with would, would you, would you mind? And we started, we, we continue with should and should not. And later, uh, we moved to writing a formal uh, email. And tonight, the topic for tonight is this one, right? There is good etiquette, good etiquette at the workplace. Good etiquette at the workplace. So that's the topic. So we're going to start by checking the info here. This is review about what we did yesterday. OK, now you see, you do not use capitals, capital letters when we type in an email. You avoid this, the, you see the subject important, right? Use a formal salutation, be brief, express clearly what you are writing, do not use abbreviation, do not use mileage. Okay, we read this conversation. Okay. Like, hey, do you often send email? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see, uh, could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Well, we saw some links. We studied some links. You created a, a presentation on uh, the different steps to create an email, a formal email. And... Uh, That is actually the information about, about this, right? And tonight, as I told you before, we're going to be able to talk about or to provide uh, written and oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace. Yesterday, you investigated something related to the importance of creating a good environment in the, in the workplace. Tonight, somehow, it's going to be complemented by the information we're going to study here. We're going to start, and is the word etiquette similar to you? Now, what's the meaning of the word etiquette, people? Look for the word etiquette and tell me about what you think on that word. All right, etiquette, what is the meaning? Is it familiar to you? Do you put into practice some etiquette instructions at work or rules? What can you tell me about etiquette, people? Anybody in the group? Hello, hello, once again. 
Can you listen to me, Eri, people? Eri Pet, eh, son como modales. Okay. So, are you familiar with that vocabulary? Like, yes. Yeah. Over here. Eh. In... Uh -huh. Okay. Rules. There are some eh. rules. Okay, Fernando. Um, siempre que uno llega, eh, good morning, eh, depende del tiempo o el momento del lugar, o la hora también, y saludar a las personas. Exactly, right? So it's very important to greet people. Okay? It's quite important to, to smile and to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. All right, it's it's quite important. Like we have two rules there. I don't, I wonder if you if you have noticed about some other rules of etiquette. And the last question: Hey, are these rules important? Why? Are these rules important? Rules important? Why? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they are important, but why? Yes, yes, but the polite in our family. Okay. Or, but the education. Yeah. All right. Good. Now over here we have like an article about etiquette guidelines. We're gonna read it. Okay, then you are going to think a little bit about it. You are going to summarize what you have heard. When I ask you to summarize, cuando les digo que, eh, cuando escuchan la palabra summarize, es, es porque les pido un, como una breve explicación de lo que leímos acá, okay? Algunos de ustedes me van a ayudar a leer. Good etiquette at, eh, at the workplace. Can somebody help me to read this? Actually, we are working in a page 35, people. 35. Okay, Jose Daniel, good evening. Okay, now can somebody help me to read the first part? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Um... Um, good etiquette, etiquette, verdad? Yeah, etiquette, etiquette. At, at the workplace, there are many workplace etiquette guidelines, guidelines or guidelines. Guidelines, guidelines. But the most important is to be punctual. Punctual. To your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, 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 that is okay. However, habitual late partners are never appreciated in any organi organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible responsible and you respect the organization if you know that you will be late then a good ethical guideline will be to call the concern authority and report the reason why you are late um more or less <laughs> thank you jonathan thanks for helping me now let's continue with the next part. Is there anybody else who wants to help me? Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees. Any other person who wants to help me with this? Or clients in any part of the world. Okay, Michael, go ahead with this part, please. <laughs> yes. In that case, it's necessary to have work in knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette, you need to um, you need to mention the subject clearly 
and be constant for the conscience you also need to include all the important details you should use formal and grammatically correct language for email for email thank you in addition can somebody else help me to read in addition In addition, in addition, acknowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace. It's very essential. We have to speak on the the on the telephone at at some point during our daily daily work. Be polite when you when you talk to your employees. Or supervisor, listen, listen to what they say carefully, and do, do not interrupt. Be use your voice is clear when you speak. Avoid wrong interpretation. Interpretation. Thank you. Now next part: etiquette guidelines. Anybody else, please? Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-worker. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following under. etiquette under, observe, under observation. Uh -huh. Following etiquette guideline can play a very vital role for future promotion. A very vital role for the future promotion. So you see how important. Well, what do you think about this reading? What is what do you think about this reading? What's the what, what is the idea, the general idea you got? Identify. Identify. Uh -huh. I read something that's quite important at the end. The following etiquette guidelines can play very vital. You can say it says very vital, vital role for future promotions. So you see, etiquette is important. It's very important. Now, uh, we have some sentences over here, and then you are going to tell me the best option for answering or for to completing the statement. If you know you are late, you should... What do you think? Compensate the time, call the person you report to, or not to do anything about it. What what is what would be the best option? And tell me why. Explain to me what's going on with it. Good evening, Mario. Mario got into the class. Okay. Now, if you know you are late, you should you should do what? Compensate time, call the person you report to, or not to do anything about it. Um, call the person you report to. Uh, call the person you report to. Why? Why do you consider that is that that is the best option, Jonathan? Um. Bueno, es importante explicar este eh, para hablar con las personas, conversar con las personas, eh, presentar, bueno, dar una buena imagen y posiblemente mediante esto buscar buenas oportunidades 
para el futuro, como dice anteriormente. Okay, now investigate how to say that in English, please. <laughs> try, try to, okay. Now, number two, what is a tip to apply in official emails? Send an email in English, use a long salutation, or express the subject clearly. What is the best option here? Send the send the emails in English. Send email in English. What is it? What is a tip to apply in official email? So that means that if we type it in Spanish, that wouldn't be formal. Only English can be only email. Yeah. Huh? English email yeah. can be formal. It's informal send the uh, emails in Spanish, but the uh, apply in the official English. Mm -hmm. What do you think about expressing the subject clearly? Well, think of it, think of it, think of it, because uh, that's why we're gonna we're gonna work in this part. Teacher, sí. sorry, eh, ya Jonathan. analicé bien la, lo que pide. Sí, lo siento. Dime. Uh, ok, no sé. John, Jonathan, you are going to participate about, about question number one, right? Eh, sí. Oh, yeah, ok, listen to Jonathan, please. Um, bueno, dice que si sabe que va a llegar tarde, debería... Bueno, si compensamos el tiempo... No se puede compensar algo. Pero sí, creo que sí, sigo en la misma, hablar con las personas, reportarse. Ajá, va. Reportar que es la tarde, tal vez. Ajá, the reason, right? So, to provide an excuse for, for coming late. Yeah, I understand, right? But, um, you are, you... Do be the favor to investigate how to respond or how to answer this question in English, okay? Okay. Okay. So the second one, what is a tip to apply in an official email? Now somebody included some info. Number three, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone, speaking or using clear voice, interrupt. The other speaker use polite language. What is the one which is not good etiquette? Speak using the clear voice. I mean, but it says not uh -huh. good <laughs> etiquette, right? Interrupt to the other speaker. Inter yes. Interrupt to the other speaker. What do you think is, is, is bad? Is bad etiquette people because we need to hear uh, what is the other person that says first okay when when we speak we need to be like good listeners right yeah good listeners i think it is important right to be a good listener sometimes we we want to interrupt somebody else because we think we have a better idea or a brilliant idea. And sometimes we, well, the conversation is not the, it's not the best conversation. No. Now, if you receive a call while you are eating with coworkers, what should you do? What should you do? Ignore the call and continue eating. Answer the call at the table. Leave the table and answer the call. What is the best option for you? And tell me, explain to me. Explain it to me, please. Hmm. 
Hello, hello? People? Look, ignore, ignore the call and continue eating. Answer the call uh, at the table. Leave the table and answer the call. So what's the best option here? Ignore the call and continue eating. Ignore the call and continue eating. But what about if that calling you from your boss? Thirsty, <gasps> leave the table. So you, so you see about the importance of it. Yes. Now, what what if if that person is your boss? I see the name they call Bashir. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you notice that it, it is or it was your 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 boss, you immediately answer the phone call at the table. It's so weird. The first group the call. Uh huh. No, but but let us think a little bit and do not take it like that serious. Let's imagine it's it's a friend. What would you do? Ignore the call and continue eating? Answer the call at the table or leaving the table and answering the call? What is the best option for you? Leave the table. The table. Answer the call. Why do you think that is the best option? Like leaving the table and answer the call there. Uh, not to interrupt my okay. classmate lunch oh. time. Okay. In that way, you do not interrupt your coworkers. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Only that? Just that? Okay, now listen carefully. I have some links over here and you're going to, you're going to read the info. Okay, you're gonna read the info and you are going to create you a, a very, a, a two minute speech will be all right. Okay, so about tonight we're gonna we're gonna check the time. Okay, una presentación de dos minutos es lo que van a crear con los enlaces que yo voy a enviar a través del chat. Fíjense bien, solo van a ser dos minutos, pero deben de ser dos minutos efectivos en donde no vayan, no van a leer, sino que nos van a tratar de expresar las ideas que ustedes han logrado eh, crear a través de lo, los enlaces que yo voy a compartir. Okay, give me a second. I will stop sharing. I wish I will share the link over here in the chat. So that is the first. That is the first one. Now, uh, well, this one I, I will share it with you later. After your presentation, I have my own presentation here. Luego que ustedes hagan su presentación, yo voy a mostrar mi presentación. Una presentación que está por ahí, la tomé prestada, pero me, me gustó. Ok. Y de ahí hay tres links. Ahí hay tres enlaces. Ok, de esos tres enlaces usted puede elegir toda la información que considere pertinente para crear su propia presentación. Two minutes pitch. Two minutes pitch. How much time are we going to spend there? Well, let's try to, to stay uh, there working like 15 minutes, ok? Let us try. Vamos a invertir 15 minutos para producir dos minutos, ok? Dos minutos de calidad. 
Ok, so 15 minutos from now. 15 minutos a partir de este momento. Todos investigando, leyendo. Si quieren buscar más info, lo pueden hacer. No hay problema, pero lo importante acá es que logren hablar durante dos minutos sin detenerse. Ok, so here we go. I will stop uh, now. And I hope that you can um, work a lot and do your best. ¿Estamos claros en la actividad? ¿Tenemos claridad en lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Ok. So, from now on, 15 minutos. 15 minutos para producir dos minutos de calidad. Here we go.
Okay, try to do your best. Remember, etiquette. Okay, the goal, remember the goal is for you to produce two minutes, a non-stop speech of two minutes. El objetivo es hablar durante dos minutos sin detenerse, okay? Hacer las pausas eh, de su speech, pero no, um, no estar leyendo y, y, y tratar de ser continuo en esos dos minutos, okay? Ese es el objetivo de ahorita. Estamos invirtiendo 15 minutos en ello.
10 minutes more, 10. Hey, uh, I hope everybody will participate, okay? Espero todos logren participar esta noche. Okay, we're almost done.
Now raise your hand if you are ready, okay? So that I I can notice you are you are already you are ready to prepare your two minute speech. Now, yeah, five minutes, people. Then I will start naming or asking you to participate. Remember, two minute speech, a non stop speech, right? Or a speech with no pauses. I teacher. Excellent, Merlin. Merlin, but, we're gonna start with you, okay? Uh, but you you don't you don't you don't look tiny teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you, okay, no, don't worry. Solo yo lo voy a ver, okay. No solo yo voy a ver el tiempo. <laughs> Merlin, don't worry. <laughs> ¿Qué? Bueno, ¿y qué sabemos si se hacen cinco o siete minutos por ahí alguien? I talk, I talk more uh, slower. Uh, oh, no, voy a hablar despacio. No, no, no. Let us try to, to talk naturally. Naturally. Are you ready, uh, Merlin? Or do you need to practice a little bit more? Because you still have two minutes more. Ah, ok, ok. Voy a esperar. <risas> ok, continue practicing. Eh, la meta es dos minutos fluidos, um, hablando con naturalidad, sin necesidad de leer. Ok, ese es el objetivo ahorita.
Okay, now yes, right? Time's over. I need everybody to be ready. Okay, raise your hand if you're ready, people. Raise your hand if you're ready. Now, Aidan, are you ready? Aidan? Are you ready, Aidan? I don't see Aidan is as a listener tonight. Anibal? So do, do you need some time, people? Very nice. Uh, Aníbal, I think Aníbal is ready. Are you ready, Aníbal? Uh, not ready, teacher, not ready. <laughs> how much How much time do you need? How much time do you need? Yes, teacher. <laughs> uh, like two minutes. Uh, three minutes, uh, three minutes. Uh, Fernando, are you ready? In, in, in three minutes. Uh, in three, okay, so <laughs> three minutes more, all right? So it will be all right, three minutes. But if you are ready, let me know it. A little work, so teacher, a little work. Okay, three minutes. Aníbal, Aidan, and everybody, and Fernando, you said three minutes? <laughs> We're going to spend three minutes more. Uh, may I Aidan, uh, yeah, three minutes. <laughs> teacher are you ready Michael eh, bueno yo no escribí nada pero al menos eh, tengo una idea de todo yeah. a ver que sale you have some, some ideas ok <laughs> uh -huh. ok so you are eh, ready now uh, yes <laughs> ok go ahead Michael uh, mm, I, try, I try going to to speak about the why workplace etiquette in, in my work workplace. Uh, the first is make a good make a good first impression is when I I looking for uh, looking for Joe in other other company. I uh, they they see me my formal uh, formal dress in in good good polite is the that he see me make a good first impression and the second is avoid gossip and this topic is the don't speak about the the other co-workers or other okay, other manager uh, of of the someone that i don't don't Don de alguien que no nos pudiera caer bien, <laughs> uh -huh. y and the three, three topic is communicate is the key. In this case, uh, the communicate is very important, but the the communication, well, my, right? Uh -huh, communication yeah. in in my case is the the important, but uh, uh, show show respect with my with my co-worker in my case are uh, we are only two two people uh -huh. uh, but but this is this is the key but but be very good uh, work 
workers in my company. And in the fourth topic is understand our work environment. In this case, uh, try to to speak very good to other people, but but don't but but they don't uh, bad the uh, my person but this is a bad recommendation but the other person or other company in in the 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 fight Topic is the be personable yet professional is is in this case uh, we act acting in with professional with the all the staff in the company. And try to help when when they are helping and that's it teacher that i understand this topic was it difficult michael uh, <laughs> was it was it difficult uh, but yes. actually, actually you spoke like about five minutes <laughs> so you see it is important and, and something that I noticed about Michael's um, performance is that as you can as you remember and, and if you observe Michael uh, he is trying to participate every single moment I ask people to do to do it and that's something that he that's that's been helping him okay so uh, thank you michael so okay. now I, I think cristobal is ready now mario cristobal are you ready Uh, Juan Fernando, go ahead. Okay. Um, that's it. <laughs> sí. Yeah, we can see it. You have a presentation. That's good. Okay. Eh, vamos a ver, no por. A good etiquette at the workplace. And the six tips is number one. No, that will help us develop to better at work. And the number one is a uh, show respect for others. A uh, show respect for others is the fundamental thing when one arrives at the new place of work. And um, my, my grandmother says respect that the opinion of the other to the respect mine, it is a better important. <laughs> it's a nice tip. <laughs> and number two, make behind behind part a uh, habit behind a, a tool of a reading all the time is essential. 
sign in the way uh, we respect the work of other co-workers. It also show uh, interest in the work is more important. And number three, put always your mobile device. In my workplace, it's very important, uh, no cell phone. <laughs> I have your mobile device out of your workplace, help keep all the focus of the what they're uh, crafting. It also interesting in the, the workplace. And number three, number four, dress appropriate. Uh, client, clothing, the respect for most or personal presentation. It's also your very introduction, dressing properly, no exaggerate everything, depend on the environment to which we are going to play. In my workplace is essential, but uh, using the Philippine, other people, uh, this is the personal uh, the auxiliar, uh, chef, uh, the executive chef is more important. And number five, ask people who they wish to the communicate. Uh, communication between people is important. This help development a good work relationship with co-working, good working everywhere. And number six is avoid interrupting. Interrupting. Uh, the interruption. Inter interrupting. Uh, interrupting. Interrupting. The interruption is something fundament fundamental that we must you know for the respect your opinion with the most respect of the other which interruption and the same other six tips teacher <laughs> finish great so you got some vocabulary out there and also I could notice that you that you prepare a, a, a PowerPoint in a very easy way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. Now, I think Aníbal is ready now. Okay, teacher. Good, Aníbal. Go ahead. A little, a little bit worse. <laughs> Uh, a little bit better. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, reading for reading uh, made a good first impression. Uh, people of, of uh, impression uh, about others within seconds of meeting them. Uh, a voice, a voice, a voice gossip. How you treat people says a lot, a lot about you. you. Uh, communication is key. Is key. It's important uh, part of workplace etiquette. Uh, uh, understand your work environment, the values, uh, policies, uh, and procedures of a work a workplace can be dif difficult. To discern uh, our friends, be personable, yet professional. Uh, sharing information about your personal life in your choice. Uh, that's all, teacher. That's Finish. it. That's it. Okay. Thank you, Aníbal. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you, Aníbal. Thank you. Daniel? After Daniel Johnson, oh. be ready, please. 
そろそろ。OK。えー、many etiquettes in a workplace, for example, show respect for others is important for good work environment. We need respect uh, any any person, any co-worker, and uh, my bosses, etc. Uh, what other example? Uh, make the important uh, habit is a way to good impression. I we need. But we have a uh, good impression in, in the workplace that uh, for example, también put away your mobile device or any device. And we need we need to be attention for any activity in the work for not interrupting uh, we, uh, to my co-workers. All right. And, and in the workplace, uh, we need dress appropriate, appropriately. For example, appropriately. Uh, Appropriately, we need a prop dress appropriately. For example, uh, from Monday to Thursday, I have to use formal clothes. And only Friday, I have to use informal clothes, for example, jeans, tennis, etc. Uh, <clears throat> other uh, uh, good etiquette uh, uh, is, for example, for example, use people's name. I like to call me by my name. All right. No use, no use nicknames no ni nicknames. other names. Yes, uh, only for the moment. <laughs> only for the moment. That means that you are gonna you're gonna continue working on it, right? Okay, okay. Okay, give me a second. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Thanks for doing your best, Jancy. Hello, Jancy, are you there? Merlin is done. Jonathan. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Jonathan. Are you ready? Um yeah. Yes. Okay, <laughs> go ahead with with your uh -huh. yes. <laughs> Okay. It's like, you know, the, you know the word hesitate, right? Hay un verbo, yeah. el verbo hesitar, ok. Este, siéntanse seguros, en realidad están haciendo un buen trabajo, ¿verdad? Un muy buen trabajo. Si, si han prestado atención, todos han aportado algo de lo que se les ha solicitado, han descubierto palabras nuevas, han practicado pronunciación, están aprendiendo como, hey, ¿qué tal el teacher dice dos minutos sin detenerme? Algunos ya comprobaron que sí se puede, que inclusive se puede más de dos minutos a, esta, a estas alturas, ¿verdad? Sin detenerse, pero, ok, so let us try to continue, vamos a tratar de continuar. Jonathan. Okay. Uh, ready? Uh, and... More than ready. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, 13 uh, essential tips for follow or proper guide at work. Um, 
show respect, show respect for other respect is um, very important in our workplace so that all the respect me too. Um, take your mobile mobile device. Or, uh, put, put in a way our phone save us from station and in some jobs in it's prohibited pro prohibited no sé cómo se menciona prohibido prohibited prohibited yes um dress appropriately oh. Clothes um, we wear, we wear, wear are important to give a good imaging, image, and professionality. Telephone mobile. Avoid interrupting. It is a in, to interrupt others while we are um, talking or in an important meeting. Use names of people. All right. In others by name, show respect and education and nicknames are something disrespectful. 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 Okay. Be reliable. Um, be reliable with our companion or college. Okay. To get done at work. That's reliable, Jonathan. Ah, reliable. Okay, reliable is respetuoso, confiable, confiable. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. Um, safe personal communication for outside of work. It is important that the work topics are only for into workplace. Mm. that's all <laughs> that's all good okay now I'll try to continue like identifying certain words certain vocabulary that I, I think it would be really nice if if we start looking for pronunciation of words more frequently but okay. it was really nice Jonathan thank you mm -hmm. Um, Vera Liz. After Vera Liz, we're going to listen to Veranice. Vera Liz, are you there? Are you ready? Vera Liz, oh, Vera Liz is not ready, but Jose Daniel is ready. Okay, Jose Daniel, go ahead. Ok, no sé si lo hice bien, pero ahí voy. Mm -hmm. Solo les comparto. Hey, every single time you do your best efforts because you did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go ahead, Daniel. Uh, Daniel, yeah, José Daniel, go ahead. Ok. Uh, in my opinion, uh, to have good working relationship is to always maintain a positive attitude in difficult situation to have good to have good interpersonal relationship with the members of the work teams or the other hands dressing appropriately in trading com work com with respect uh, generally 
confidence in people import to have a place in work environment. Uh, another import factor is to general adequate communication channel that alone transmitting transmitting uh, ideas uh, ideas ideas and generating discussion discussion that alone affected communication in the same way Corwin the member of the team in the personal way in consider it important to uh, strain bonds uh, of, of, of friendship. Finish. Quite good. Environment at work. That is something essential, right? To, to have a good relationship. Thank you, uh, Daniel, Jose Daniel. Let's see, Veronica. Yeah, well, I talk about my opinion and I in my work. And the first thing we have in my company is creating engagement with the boss and co-workers. Well, we consider etiquette a word in the place and outside. Yeah, because it's important to communicate. I really don't have permission to interrupt when the other people is talking. Well, in my case is because uh, I have a metrics that QA and she QA listen me and I call when I interrupt on the client is really bad to me because I have a penalty to $15 and I really don't need that. Be and the other people is when you say that is your body calling. We really know this is very important because in the place and the other people we have clearly the levels or rather that respect because he's doing the people in the hierarchies. Um, well, I think that is just the first thing in my worry is respect because I I work when the people is the same age and the other is have that get uh, 20 years more than me. And I think it's say a something simple how good morning good afternoon or whatever the time is it just have empathy and i have the a better work environment in when the old people all right excellent info okay excellent information right 20 years older berenice than you yeah, I have I have a, a co-worker. She has forty six years old, and the others have he is, six the other years is. old. Yeah. Oh, okay, pretty good. Thank you. It was really nice info. Mm -hmm. Now let's see who hasn't participated tonight, people. Teacher, we have salaries. <laughs> ah, you, you, you're you're gonna include information about salaries. <laughs> Last time you, you, you it, and it was recorded, right? So do not complain in the video, please. No, no van a empezar con los salaries porque la vez anterior quedó grabado. <laughs> oh. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Se acuerdan del verbo complain, verdad? Si <laughs> ¿Sí, sí se recuerdan, don't complain over here. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's a joke, it's a joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now, 
Let us try with somebody else. Norma, are you ready? I think Edgar, you have participated, right? Edgar, are you ready? Edgar, eh, Norma, and Ronan. Uh, but Ronan is a listener tonight. So we have Edgar and we have Norma. So, and then we continue. Then we continue with some info, with some extra information. Okay, is there anybody else who wants to participate? Well, uh, let's see. Let's have like some observations. Vamos a hacer algunas observaciones. Um, ¿Cómo observaron el desempeño del grupo en esta actividad? Yo les di 15 minutos e invirtieron 15 minutos para generar dos minutos. ¿Cómo estuvo la actividad? Ajá. Pues estuvo bien, teacher. Eh, me parece porque eh, si no es así, no podemos des desenvolvernos bien con, la, con el inglés, ¿verdad? Claro. Eh, para mí que sería, bueno, no sé, quizás por los temas, ¿verdad? Pero para mí sería bueno que, eh, no sé, seguido hacerlo así para, para poder desenvolvernos porque... Ahí como que nos falta bastante, ¿verdad? Uh, ok, Aníbal, thanks for letting me know about it. Uh, actually, pues esa es la idea, ¿no? Ya el otro, ya prácticamente la otra semana cerramos el, 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 el nivel. Ajá, el nivel, exacto. Este, también, yo sé que hay a veces que no nos queda tiempo por los distintos trabajos que tenemos, ¿verdad? Hay, hay quienes que podemos hacer tareas, hay quienes que no, ¿verdad? No nos queda chance, como dice, ¿verdad? Pero yo, igual yo me mantengo como viendo videos de, no sé si, de este profesor Pocarando, que no sé si lo he escuchado, ¿verdad? Mm. Queda también... Why, no sé, why, why, don't, yeah, why don't you share a couple of videos in the group? It uh, <laughs> would be really nice, right? Pueden compartir... Teacher Bocarano de buenos temas también. Okay. también ¿verdad? Sí, claro, pueden compartir en el grupo sin, ningún, sin ninguna pena. Eh, pues. Yo igual, yo no sé, con perdón, Teacher, por interrumpir. Este, a Fernando le he mandado unos dos libros. No sé si yo puedo compartir libros con los, en el sí. chat para los compañeros, no sé. Claro que eh, sí pueden. Eh, okay. Recuérdense que el objetivo es... Que ustedes sean bilingües, ese es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, <risa> ataquemos la debilidad de cualquier ángulo. ¿verdad? Si usted dice, y, bueno, por lo menos ahora dice, teacher, nos hace falta un poco de desenvolvernos eh, con el speaking. Deberíamos okay. de hacer como más actividades como la de ahora. Ok, no, yo lo tomo, lo escucho, lo tomo en cuenta. Pero al mismo tiempo, eh, regreso como el tiempo a, a que a dos meses a, atrás. Y si ustedes también hacen el ejercicio, se van a dar cuenta de los avances que ustedes están experimentando. Pues, cuando ustedes entraron, eh, si ustedes se recuerdan, pues algunos comenzamos con el hello. ¿verdad? Los que estuvieron conmigo en el básico 1, eso fue lo primerito que aprendimos. Ahora imagínense, bueno, hoy escuchamos a Michael. Michael hoy se gastó cinco minutos en su presentación. Congratulations a, Marco, a Michael, porque la verdad que, que se ha visto el avance. Claro. Se ha visto el avance y, y cuando algo le gusta a uno, pues uno lucha por ver cómo, cómo se aprende, ¿verdad? Exacto. Sí. Mire, por ahí le están haciendo barra a él. Berenice le está tirando. Ah, como, como, dice el, como dice el profe, que hay que, hay, hay que atacar ahí donde más nos cuesta. Bueno, y no, no sabemos cómo siguió Berenice, como no se mira hoy. I'm sorry, I see. Sí, continuo. I have camera today. <laughs> Sorry. Como yo que estaba enferma de los bronquios. 
Yeah. Así pues en los chat. Ah, pues sí. esperamos que se recupere muy pronto para tener nuestra bilingüe ahí. <risa> eh, 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 fíjense que yo en bueno ayer ayer hubo actividad en grupo y este veo que es necesario que cuando nosotros estemos en grupo nos dediquemos claro si hay alguien que, que está de oyente pues sabemos que esa persona por X razón no puede aportar de igual manera que con los que estamos al 100% activos ¿no? Y este, pero sí me encantaría que eh, cuando los, cuando hagamos actividades en grupo que interactúen eh, un poquito más, que se ayuden un poquito más, ¿verdad? Que se hagan observaciones. Si ustedes se fijan, yo me muevo de un grupo, me estoy un ratito con un grupo, lo muevo de otro grupo. Yo lo que hago es observar y sacar mis, mis propias conclusiones para ya luego tomar decisiones. Eh, por ejemplo, um, ayer, pues noté que por ahí nada más se asignaron, vaya, usted haga esto y yo hago esto. Y ya luego la reunión se quedó en silencio. Pero hubiese sido o sería mucho más significativo cuando eh, compartimos, interactuamos. Y, y, este, y nos corregimos inclusive entre nosotros, ¿verdad? Eh, algunas veces, pues, sabemos que corregir, corregir nuestros errores, ya sea de pronunciación, de gramática, de lo que sea, no nos, no nos debería de incomodar. ¿verdad? No hay por qué incomodarnos con esa situación, porque nosotros lo dijimos desde un inicio, somos un equipo, ¿verdad? Somos un equipo y lo que queremos es que todos que todos incrementen su nivel de inglés. Entonces, en, en ese sentido, todos podemos apoyarnos. ¿Vale? Lo que decía Aníbal ahora, ¿puedo compartir información en el grupo? Claro. Desde el inicio yo les dije, compartan aquello que ustedes consideren puede beneficiar a, a los compañeros en el grupo. ¿Ok? Uh, we still have like 20 minutes, todavía tenemos 20 minutos, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de lo que ustedes estudiaron y al mismo tiempo pues me gustaría escuchar algunas reacciones de ustedes. Well, I will, I will share. Hey, this topic is quite important. Es muy importante porque este, yo siempre he dicho que la amabilidad Muchas veces abre puertas que no nos imaginamos, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, lo mismo sucede en inglés. Yo, en algún momento, pues, yo trabajé como en un call center. Yo me recuerdo que un, una persona morena, alto, súper alto de Nueva York, fue eh, la persona que me entrevistó y estaba con su camisa toda desabotonada. Y, este, y empezó a hablar street talk, o sea, un, un lenguaje como no adecuado para hacerme una entrevista. Pero en aquel entonces yo tenía 18 años, no sabía yo este, acerca de los, de los environment at work, de los ambientes laborales. E ignoraba muchas cosas, pero a la edad que nosotros tenemos ya sabemos de la importancia que tiene la amabilidad, ¿verdad? En nuestros trabajos, el respeto, la puntualidad, ya ustedes lo mencionaron en inglés. Entonces, eh, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. I have something here in this speech. And, you know, we, we have been talking about etiquette, right? And over here, It says advanced level of English, as you can see here, but it is not actually a, an advanced level because the thing is that over here we are going to check only vocabulary. And vocabulary we have been studying over here. So it says business etiquette is all about building good what? Good reports, good rapport, good relations, or good reactions with your clients? Religion. Religion. Literacy. Is that right? Yes. 
Now, always be punctual, persistent, persnickety, patient. Always be when meeting with clients. No one likes waiting around for somebody who is running late. Always be what? Punctual? Persistent? Punctual. 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 Yeah. Punctual. This is the test very, very, that is, I think it is quite important. Hay algo que si no, yo siempre estaba orgulloso de ser salvadoreño, no cambiaría mi nacionalidad por ninguna otra, pero hay algo que yo siempre no he estado de acuerdo, el famoso, la famosa frase que si uno es salvadoreño, <laughs> Uno dice las siete, pero en realidad es a las siete y media. No sé si, no sé si a ustedes les ha sucedido eso. Llega la cosa. Por algún, por algún motivo yo siempre, eh, no sé, ya quizás pues mis padres me enseñaron que si yo decía a las siete, era a las siete. O sea, yo siempre he estado a tiempo. Si alguien me dice siete, si ustedes se fijan, pues casi, casi siempre cierro muy puntual y casi siempre, pues, gracias a Dios abro las clases a, a, a la hora. Porque a mí así, a, a mí así se me enseñó, ¿verdad? Pero muchos salvadoreños dicen, siete y media hora después van a aparecer. Entonces, a mí cada vez que me toca reunirme con alguien, yo ya sé que tengo que esperar a esa persona. Pero eso debería de ser diferente. Deberíamos de cambiar eso. No importa si es una reunión en el cine o es una reunión formal. Uno de, deberíamos de siempre ser puntuales. ¿verdad? Especialmente cuando son citas con una, con una persona. Perdón, teacher. Eh, eh, pues, pues allí creo que son valores que nuestros padres nos inculcan, ¿verdad? Porque el ser puntual es bien difícil con X personas, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, sí, eh, eso, eso viene como eh, por decirlo como de generación en generación mis padres fueron bien puntuales y pues me enseñaron a ser puntual sí, si, ustedes, cual, si ustedes analizan los países desarrollados son los que <risa> siempre van cuidando del último minuto si el, si el subway es a las seis que pasa y alguien llega a pasar a las seis ya se quedó, se quedaron sin su transporte Exacto. Entonces, deberíamos de mejorar eso. Appropriate aspect attendance, aspiration, or a time, especially important when meeting with potential clients. Aspect attendance, aspiration, attire. Attendance. 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 We say attendance. Okay. Then we have make sure to do research regarding cultural customs and proper and proper what? Proactivity, performance, protocol, or perspectives before doing business with people and com companies in other countries. A, B, C, or D. Creativity, performance, protocol, perspectives. Performance. Perf is it performance? Don't yeah. worry because we're gonna we're gonna check it later. We're gonna check it later. Then we have let me see because. The number five said, if you're going to share a meal with a client, be sure to use appropriate table what? Table style, table method, table manners, table settings. Table manners. Table manners, good. Manners, manners. 
table, yeah. but table manners, right? Try to return messages and return, present, revisit, or respond to businesses' emails within 22 hours. Revisit. Revisit. Respond. I respond uh, in 22 hours, right? Yes. Let me uh, see. Number seven. Keep a detailed appointment book to to what? To obliterate, avoid, ensure, or recall. Uh, for getting important meeting and functions. Uh, oh boy. Recall. Um, to recall for getting important meetings, to recall, to ensure, to avoid. What's the best option here? Avoid. Avoid, right? right? Avoid forgetting. Good. When talking with clients, try to extend, speak, behave, or express yourself in a clear, eloquent manner. Good, Aiden. When talking with clients, try to extend, speak, behave, or express yourself in a clear, eloquent manner. Express? Express yourself. Number nine, don't, don't interrupt, prevent, interject, or presume others during meetings. Let them finish their thoughts before you add is something to your to the conversation. Interrupt. 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 Okay, Interrupt. we agree. We, we agreed on that. And okay. remember to politely expel, extrude, excuse, or exit yourself if you have to get up and leave during a meeting. Excuse. Excuse yourself. Excuse. Excuse yourself. Let's see. We're going to check it. Okay. Number one. Business etiquette is all about building good rapport with your clients. What's the meaning of rapport, people? What's the meaning? Or not because it's the engagement with the other people. Exactly, right? So if you didn't know about, about the word rapport, get the message now. Okay, yeah. memorize the word. Rapport. Let's see number two. Punctual, punctuality, right? Oh, Always be wow. punctual. Good. Good. No problem, sir. Look at this one because you said attendance, right? And actually, it's attire. Look for the word attire, people. Attire. Attire double T. Atuendo. Now, now it makes sense, right? Appropriate attire is especially important when meeting with potential clients. Okay, now what, what's the meaning of attendance, people? So look for the word attendance. Um, attendance. Assistencia, attendance. Assistencia, assistir. 
Okay, mm -hmm. so now, now if we if we write down or if we type attendance here, it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense. So you need to you need to choose the answer that actually makes sense and and creates a, a complete expression. Number four, make sure to do research regarding culture, customs, and power protocol before doing business with people and companies in other countries. So what's protocol, people? Agenda. OK. Uh, before doing business. Now, it makes sense, right? It makes sense. Protocol. Number five. If you're going to share a, re, a, a meal with a client, be sure to use appropriate table manners. Now that's correct, right? Table manners. Good. Number six, try to return messages and respond to business emails within 24 hours. Okay, respond. Good. Number seven, keep a detailed appointment book to avoid forgetting important meetings in functions. Avoid. Good. Avoid. Now, you see, after avoid, we're going to see an ING form. Avoid forgetting. Avoid okay. complaining. Avoid uh, okay. writing. Avoid, but everything needs to be with ING. That's something that you need to keep in mind. There are certain verbs in which you can, you can use ING or infinitive in front of them. When talking with clients, try to express yourself. Express, good. Number nine, don't interrupt other student meetings. Let them finish their thoughts before you add to the conversation. Correct, interrupt. Number 10, remember to politely excuse yourself if you have to get up and leave during the meetings. All right, pretty good. So I think uh, well, I will share this link so that you can practice whenever you want. I think this this exercise is quite good. So you have the link. And if you want to continue practicing the exercise, it will be really nice. Good. Now, test is over. Let's go over this part. This is actually, oh wow, this is quite important. Dress appropriately. Many offices follow a business casual or casual dress policy in which employees and even managers make wear jeans to the office regardless. Okay, let's see. So we have like 13 essential tips to follow for proper etiquette at work. Your behavior in the workplace can dictate your success and look at it after your reputation and influence the overall workplace environment. Si ustedes leen eso, es, es, es el inicio es muy fuerte, nos dice cosas muy, muy muy acertadas y que okay. si las analizamos, pues mm, con nuestro behavior o comportamiento, nosotros podemos crear. Wow. Sabían que somos pequeños creadores. De hecho, teacher, <risa> eh, leí esa parte y me dio una idea para eh, compartirla con mi compañero de trabajo. De hecho, ya estoy haciendo la presentación porque me gustó bastante la información. Exacto, si ustedes se dan cuenta, ayer empezamos con ese tipo de, la clase tomó una, nat una naturaleza un poquito diferente, ya no tanto ejercicio, que gramática, que um, <risa> voz pasivas, que double H question words, que es, no, si ustedes se dan cuenta, los niveles de inglés poco a poco van incrementando y nos están poniendo como a, a que nuestro cerebro se acostumbre a analizar, inclusive en inglés. Y la etiqueta profesional adecuada. Uh -huh. A pensar en inglés, teacher. 
a pensar en inglés. Y eso es un proceso. A, apenas vamos iniciando con eso. Ok, so, pero acá, cuando ustedes lean, digamos, algo, analícenlo. Y si ahí, digamos, imagínense, el teacher o oh, Enrique Morales no sabe qué significa behavior. Entonces, si eso me impide obtener todo esto, imaginen la palabra behavior, qué importante es acá. Y si yo no me la sé, pues ya, ya me perdí algo muy significativo acá. Entonces, por eso siempre yo les he dicho, cada palabra importa. Following proper professional etiquette often results in more positive relationships with your colleagues learning and practicing general guidelines to workplace. Can improve your etiquette at work and help to conduct yourself professionally. In this article, because this was an article, right? So I, 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 I could notice that some people took into consideration this one. Show respect to, for others, may, being prompt a habit. And you see, being on time, this is what we were talking about. Being on, on time is an easy and manageable way to make a good impression. Put away mobile device, okay? Mobile, mobile device. Dress appropriately. Hey, this one was, it's, it's quite good. I will read this one and then we're gonna try to finish because all the information was quite, it's quite good, but unfortunately the time is almost over. Many offices follow the business casual or casual dress policy in which employees and even managers may wear jeans to the office. Regardless of this, you may benefit from dressing slightly more formally than required to show your professionalism and commitment to the role. If you meet with clients or prospective clients dressing more formal business is attire, I know here is the word attire once again, right? This can help clients feel more comfortable striving to copy your uh, manager style or level or formality can help ensure you dress appropriately. So I, I highlight this striving because maybe that is a word that we, we didn't see in previous classes, right? So you can, you can add that. Ask people how they wish to communicate, avoid interrupting, maintain a professional virtual pres presence, use people's names, important, right? Be reliable. Ahora alguien aprendió este, esta palabra, ¿verdad? Reliable. Engage during meetings, etc. Use proper email etiquette at work. See personal communication for outside of work and practice effective cubicle etiquette at work, and etc. So listen carefully because I need to check what's coming tomorrow. Let me see. So tonight we started, or we started to, with the topic good etiquette at the work. Tomorrow, Vocabulary practice, okay? So, mañana, uh, con los enlaces que yo les compartí, busquen, por favor, las palabras que mm, fueron nuevas para ustedes. Fueron porque ahora ya no son. Y, pues, no, nos lo muestran mañana, okay? Así sean 25, si fueron 25, ok. Si fueron 10, está bien. Si fueron 30, está bien. Si fueron 50, está bien, ok? La intención es que practiquemos vocabulario. All right. So I think we're going to stop over here and let us see tomorrow, people. Any question, any comment? No, teacher. No, okay. Michael, any question, any comment? Uh... Yes, teacher. I, rem I remember that. Remember that you. You. 
Yo recuerdo que, 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 que dijo que cuando usaba a voy, eh, el verbo sería en ing. Ajá. ¿Es correcto? Ya, yeah, it's alright, right, Mike. It is, it is okay. okay. Siempre, siempre sería así. Ya, yeah, with the ing. Ok, ok. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Ok, let us see tomorrow, people. Have a good night. Try to work in the platform and do your best. See you tomorrow, ok? Good, good night. night. Good night. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon.